types of thyroid cancer that is what our today's topic is by the way this topic is all about the thyroid cancer awareness series in the previous video we spoke about what is thyroid cancer what are the symptoms of the thyroid cancer today we are going to talk about the types of the thyroid cancer namaste my name is dr tanvi mayur patel i am an endocrinologist hormone specialist a doctor from mumbai india now before i continue this video one important information if you want to watch this video in hindi language then on the i button and below in the description box there is a link if you click on that link then this video will be played in hindi language for you agar aap aaj ke is video ko hindi bhasha mein dekhna chahte hain to upar i button pe aur niche description box mein ek link hai agar aap us link pe click karenge to is video ko aap hindi bhasha mein paayenge so let's continue our today's topic that's the types of the thyroid cancer now see before we discuss about the types of the thyroid cancer it is important for you to know about the normal thyroid gland cells yes if you know normal then only you will be able to understand what is abnormal so see our thyroid gland which is located in our neck area and it has a two lobes right lobe and a left lobe this lobes inside contains the cells and these cells are basically of the two types the first is the follicular cells follicular cells are the majority of the cells of the thyroid gland and it is this follicular cells which makes the thyroid hormone that is t3 and a t4 hormone which is very important for our survival second variety of this cell is called as a c cell It is this C cell which makes a hormone called as a calcitonin and it is this hormone which is responsible for our body's calcium level also. So thyroid cancer can come either from the follicular cell or it can come from the follicular or a C cells. Now any type of cancer for that matter are of two types. One is a benign Benign cancers they are usually not that dangerous they do not usually spread to the larger part of the body and they respond very well to the treatment whereas the malignant is the second variety which is more aggressive usually do not respond to the treatment and usually have a very bad prognosis and can lead you into complications good news is that most of the thyroid cancers they are of the benign category but yes aggressive cancers do exist in fact plenty many times when a person has a thyroid cancer it usually begins as a nodule or there is a swelling on your thyroid neck area and if you find that you have such a nodule or a swelling you need to investigate further in fact you yourself can do a testing at your own home with the help of a mirror and a glass of water and you can find out whether you have nodule or not and if you want to know how to do that do watch my other video wherein i have discussed in detail about it so that will also help you so when you do this examination you can pick up such nodules and if you pick up the nodules then you need to investigate further what all are the investigations which is needed to confirm that you have a thyroid cancer or not i have made another video you can watch that that will also give you a fair idea and after doing all the testing now is the time when you know that what kind of a cancer you might have cropped up so what are those types of the cancer in that the very first cancer is called as papillary thyroid carcinoma which we call it as a ptc papillary thyroid carcinoma is in fact the most common among all the types of the thyroid cancer nearly 80 to 85% of the people have a papillary thyroid carcinoma this carcinoma comes from the follicular cells of the thyroid gland usually a patient has a uh, cancer in usually one of the lobe but nearly 10 20% of the people can also develop this cancer in both the lobes this particular type of cancer happens anywhere between 30 to 50 years of age papillary thyroid carcinoma spreads very easily to the nearby lymph nodes but good news is that they do not spread very remotely to the different body parts 
In fact, when we see this papillary thyroid carcinoma cell under the microscope, and if we compare that with the normal thyroid gland cells, they look very similar. And this kind of a cancer also responds very easily to the treatment and the patient also recovers very easily. However, the prognosis is good, but early detection is very, very important. So that's the papillary thyroid carcinoma. Moving to the second common variety and that is a follicular thyroid carcinoma. What we call it as a FTC. Follicular thyroid carcinoma is the second most common variety. Nearly 10 to 15 percent of the patient develops a follicular thyroid carcinoma. This cancer usually happens to the people who are older than 50 years of age. Again, this variety also comes from the follicular cell. If we compare the papillary carcinoma with the follicular carcinoma, then follicular carcinoma is relatively more severe, more aggressive. However, it is also benign, responds very well to the treatment, do not grow very fast, grows very slowly and that's the reason why when we start on the treatment, these are the patients who respond very well. Only drawback with this cancer is that uh, unlike uh, papillary carcinoma, this particular type of a cancer spreads very easily to the uh, distant organs and the lungs and the bones is the most common among all. So these are the two most common thyroid cancer which contributes nearly 80 to 95 percent of the cancers. Now let's move on to the relatively less common or what we call it is a rare type of a thyroid cancer. And these are the cancers that are actually more aggressive. So in that the first variety is a medullary thyroid carcinoma. Now medullary thyroid carcinoma occurs nearly 3 to 4 percent of the population. And it is this kind of a cancer which comes from a C cells. You remember in the beginning of the video, I told you that the thyroid gland has two cells, follicular cell and a C cell. So it is this C cell which develops a medullary thyroid carcinoma. In fact, medullary thyroid carcinoma, when a patient has it, okay, uh, there can be a high level of the calcitonin or uh, CEA, okay, that level can also be high in the blood. Okay, so if you have a medullary thyroid carcinoma, your doctor might ask you to do these two blood tests also. In fact, a medullary thyroid carcinoma plenty many times runs in the family. So if you are any of the family member has it, then you have a higher possibility of getting this cancer. Nearly 25% of the people have a familial medullary thyroid carcinoma. And if your doctor suspects that you might be having a medullary thyroid carcinoma, then your doctor might ask you to do a test called as a RET proto-oncogene, which can help in early detection also. Medullary thyroid carcinoma is relatively uh, more aggressive, though it is a less, uh, less common, but it is more aggressive and sometimes it can uh, respond to treatment very trickily. And when we see those cells under the microscope, they do not look very close to the normal cells. In fact, plenty many times a medullary thyroid carcinoma is also associated with the other kind of a hormonal endocrine problem like MEN, men type 2. So if you have a medullary thyroid carcinoma, do check with your doctor and find out whether it is familiar or not. Moving to the second, another rare or a less common variety is a Herthal cell carcinoma. Again, this comes from the follicular cell. Around 1 to 2 percent of the population have this problem. They do not respond very easily to the treatment and can get tricky and can also spread fast. Right? And now moving to the fifth and the last variety of the thyroid cancer that is anaplastic thyroid cancer. It is again a little relatively less common and rare, nearly 1 to 2 percent of the population has it. It is this cancer which is the most tricky and the most aggressive because this cancer spreads very fast and it grows very fast. That's the reason why in spite of giving the best of the best treatment, patients usually do not respond well because the cancer is growing very rapidly inside the body. And this cancer also spreads to the other parts of the body. And that's the reason why among all the varieties, anaplastic is considered very poor in a diet prognosis and can be even a life-threatening. Right? 
So today we discussed about the five different types of the thyroid cancer. If you think that you have any thyroid cancer, please do not live in the assumption. If you have any symptoms, then do watch my other video wherein I have talked about the symptoms it can happen. That will also help you. And if you have any of the symptoms, you suspect that you have a cancer, get the other testing done and you will be good to go. And if by any chance, if your doctor has advised you to undergo any kind of a thyroid gland removal surgery, what we call it is a thyroidectomy, I have made a full playlist on that, wherein I have talked about what is a thyroidectomy surgery, what are the types of it, how it is actually performed in the hospital, what can you do for the faster recovery and what will be your life after surgery. Watch those videos if you are undergoing, uh, planning to undergo the surgery. Alright, I hope after watching this video, you got some good useful information. If yes, please click on the like button. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related information. Thank you for joining me till now. I'll see you with another video. Till then, take care of yourself. Namaste.